In 2014, the UN named the 21st of June as International Day of Yoga. This recognition is a recognition of the part that yoga can play in leading a healthy and active lifestyle. My guest this morning, Kelly Delskamp, after 17 years with a successful clothing career in the US, found yoga and found that it can give her a happiness that she's never found anywhere else. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Thanks so much for having me here. So, at where you we celebrate, you know, people acting on their dreams. Can you name a, 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 a part in your practice that you realize that I'm never going to get this from, from corporate life? That yoga started to give you something that you just weren't getting from your, from your um, everyday career? It's, it's hard to say the difference. When yeah. um, I had my corporate life, the clothing company, I loved it. I yeah. mean, I loved it. I was living my dream. Yeah. But I balanced it with my yoga. Yeah. So that um, I felt like I was, I was staying centered mm -hmm. and appreciating and impure. Because as a designer, you want to stay very clear yeah, in course. what you're designing and stay true to your, yeah. to your vision. Yeah. And then um, through circumstances, I had to move to France. And it really, uh, it turned me and yeah. um, I was not comfortable. Because yeah. I didn't have a company anymore yeah. and I didn't speak the language, you know. Yeah. And um, I fell back into yoga very strongly mm -hmm. at that point. And I don't know how to say it, it balances you, it, it, it centers you, you just take one day at a time, you, you take your breath, yeah. you realize that everything passes, yeah. and um, it, it, it kind of, it, they just balanced. Yeah. It wasn't like I made the choice. Yeah. One just kind of fell into the other, and it, it was the right path for me at the right time, yeah. I think. I'm a daily practitioner myself, and one of my favorite parts about going to class is you can go into a class at the end of the day or the start of the day and you can have people of every age, every ability, with so many different jobs, yeah. different cultures, different religions and for that hour class everyone is moving in unison, everyone is on the same level. Do you think that that's, that this intimacy is one of the draws of yoga? I do, I, I do, mm. I think it's a good question because um, um, there is a need to relate to people yeah. And there's a need to relate to people on a, a, a real level. Yeah, like, of course. And it through the away, exercise you know, this, of, yeah, yeah. of yoga, you start to slow your heartbeat down. You do start to become more yeah. present. Yeah. And then you're talking about things after class that maybe you wouldn't talk about mm -hmm. normally in the corporate structure. In a way, you're not talking about, like, how did you feel? I felt this. Yeah. Um, this has kind of changed my life. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about eating that. You're, you're, you're sharing, or sometimes there's emotions that come up in class and you cry. Yeah, exactly. You're vulnerable. Yeah. You're embarrassed, you know, yeah. about some things, or you need the, yeah, 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 you want yeah. to share. Yeah. So you're, you're um, the way you relate to other people is definitely different oh, definitely. in a yoga class. And it, it forces you definitely. to relate on a different level, mm. on a deeper level, you know, on a human level. Yeah. So for sure, it's, I think it's a draw because you're in there and it feels great and it's great for your body yeah. and all the other stuff. and. For me, it's like eating a salad. Like you yeah. eat a salad to be healthy. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force feed myself some positive yeah. thoughts. And that's that, that's something as well that I find. You know, you feel, you start to use your food as fuel. You feel like you're yeah. nourishing your body. I, I know. I go to a studio in the center of Dublin, and we, you know, I go past bars and clubs and restaurants and takeaways on my way home. And when I come out of a class. It would actually make me sick to to think to eat that. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's strange. I, yeah. All you want is like a big juicy grapefruit or a grapefruit an orange or, or something. For me, it's always like nuts, avocados, yeah, blueberries. Yeah, yeah. Something nourishing. It's something you know, nourishing. Yeah. You feel like you're feeding your body, but you're getting yeah. strong and clear. You yeah. know, the, the food seems to fog yeah, you. Yeah. I think now, um, yoga is becoming huge in workplaces, and it's yeah. becoming you know, it's, it's yeah. really going on the curriculum. And I, I even find myself that I definitely handle situations differently and react to different situations than some of my work colleagues. What can you explain this? Do you think um, that I, uh, yoga is like the, for me, the art of observation? Yeah. You're observing yourself. You're observing your breath. You're mm -hmm. observing your body. And when you're in that space, um, you you naturally start to observe yourself in other situations. Yeah. So when you feel yourself maybe nervous for an interview, mm -hmm. you, you feel yourself clamp yeah. here and you're like, yeah. wow, yeah, 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 what's yeah. happening? Yeah. You take a moment and you, you settle, you breathe. You know that if I breathe, I'm gonna calm down. Yeah. Or you see yourself react to somebody in an angry way, or you feel defensive, like they're yeah. attacking you. And you feel your body sh freeze, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. the way we're made. Yeah, yeah. And to be like, okay, wow, that's happening. I, I can take a second here and check exactly. into myself. Yeah. 
yeah, and yeah. maybe I can have a different reaction. I don't yeah. have to have the same yeah. reaction. Yeah. Like and, the, and also, you know, you, you see people maybe a little differently yeah, because there are so many classes in your class. You're not thinking that's the jerk that wants to take my job or something. You're exactly, like, that's exactly. a person trying you to definitely. succeed. And I know if I follow my path and be true yeah. and it's going to work out. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think it, yeah. I, I just, I think it makes it have a step back it that you're not does. so reactive in your life. It's, yeah. it's the art of observation and you have a choice of yeah. how you feel and exactly. think about things. Exactly. There's a lot of talk of, you know, yoga fostering a mind, body, soul connection for mm. people that don't practice. Could you explain this mind, body, soul connection? How it... Um, mm. Okay, it's a, it's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On a basic level, yeah. in, in yoga, you concentrate a lot on the exhale. Mm -hmm. When you concentrate on the exhale and it's longer than your inhale, mm -hmm. you start to slow down the vega nerve. When mm -hmm. you start to slow down the vega nerve, right, it starts to slow down your parasympathetic system and you calm down, right? Yeah. So at that point, you're more calm. Mm -hmm. That's one part of the question. The second part is the mind-body-soul connection that yeah. you asked me. They believe in yoga, they meaning the Vedas and all the information we have, mm -hmm. is that if um, you stop the samskaras, the, 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 the things in your head, like yeah, I yeah, have to yeah, do yeah, this yeah. tomorrow, I have to do that tomorrow, I have to do that tomorrow. Exactly, as right. they say And in if every you class. connect that, right, yeah. with your mind and your body, the, yeah. the way to connect those two is through the breath. So if you keep thinking, I gotta go there tomorrow, no, go back to the breath. I gotta go there, no, I wanna do that, or if I do that, I'll be that person. Mm -hmm. Stop, go back to the breath, that slowly, what happens is you start to, to through the, the action of the movement, the mind and the body and the breath, yeah. you start to become and connect to that deeper part of yourself, whatever it is. I mean, every single person has, you can call it a soul, yeah. you can call it whatever you want, but everybody's individual, everybody has that part of themselves. And if you stop um, covering it with stories, yeah. You know, because we yeah, make them all up. Yesterday was this, tomorrow I'll be that, whatever. It doesn't matter. If you just yeah. slow it down, even for an hour a day, that's why it's a practice that you yeah. do every day. There is this mind, soul, body connect. Mm. You take a minute, you breathe, you stop the stories, you keep stopping the stories, and, and you connect with something else. And you yeah. can call it your soul, you, yeah. can, you can call it whatever you want. I, yeah. I would call it my yeah. soul, but it's um, deep. A lot of, a lot of people um, say that they practice yoga now because you know, we're living such busy lives, we're constantly connected, we're constantly on the move. But if they just have their mat and they go through a few asanas, they feel a sense of security. I know I find that if I'm traveling for work, if I just lay out my mat in, in anywhere, a hotel room or anywhere, I, I feel sort of like I'm home in a way. It's I home, just, you I, do. Yeah. So do you think that this can be a really powerful tool towards you know, helping mental illness? Because you know, people, might steer away from um, depression or loneliness. I'm, I, I, I'm honestly not uh, okay to, I, I wouldn't be able to answer yes. that on a, a scientific, on a scientific level, level, right? Yeah. And on a chemical okay. mental illness, there's no way that I would be able to answer that question. Yeah. On a stress level mm. that relates to mental illness, I, I would really believe that, yeah, it could help yeah. a lot. I do, because of the slowing down of the breath, the way that you're, you're letting the hormones in the parasympathetic yeah. system start to, to come into your body and calm down, that yes, you would be able to um, take a breath and, and calm a lot calm. of the nervous energy mm -hmm. and the nervous anxiety and the things that are caused mental illness yeah. that way. Yeah. Now, you have a festival called yes. Breathe As One. It's going into its second year this year. The second Last year, year was a complete success. Yeah, in it was Monaco, complete, yeah. 500 people. First year's always a success because you have nothing to base it on. Exactly, but no, it actually exactly. was a great success. Please, tell us, tell us a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so um, Breathe is One, uh, it started as an inspiration. Um, I, was, I was looking for something in my life yeah. to do because I'd come from a corporate background. Yeah. I was teaching yoga, I was trying to marriage the two, but not really. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I had this idea and that came that way. Yeah. I was just meditating a lot, like what do I want? Like I gotta find the answer. And one day I, I was reading the article, I was really influenced by uh, Times Square, Mind Over Madness. They yeah. do this huge thing where they close Times Square and a thousand, I mean, now it's like 30,000 people come and they do yoga for free. And I just thought that would be brilliant. I mean, we live in the south of France. It's, I'm, I'm a Californian, so I feel like I live in the most beautiful place in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. And wouldn't it be amazing? We're like, everybody in Europe should come here. It would just seem logical. So I just threw the idea out in the middle of the night on the internet just to see who would answer. Like, and Facebook, and 30 seconds, voila. somebody was like, oh my God, that's a brilliant idea. And 
it's just like, you know, the, 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 the path was thrown out in front of me. I was not really thinking anything. And I asked a yoga studio in Monaco, you want to partner? They said yes. Yeah. So we partnered and then we got to partner with SBM, which is a really great company that um, runs the casino and the Fairmont mm -hmm. hotels and stuff. And they said, great, that they would partner with me. And um, it was so easy. Yeah. It was really so easy. Then I found kind of a yoga celeb, which of is Nico Lucci. Yeah. He said, I'll do for free. Yeah. And the deal was to do for free, just see what you could put together. But we got Nike to sponsor us, Carrefour. Lots of people just stepped yeah. up to the plate. And we had 800 people register, and we had uh, like maybe 500 people show up. Oh my God. And it was great. Yeah. And so this year, we decided to do in Nice because 80%, 85% of the people and the teachers that showed up were from Nice. Mm -hmm. And um, so this year, we're doing it in Nice. And again, the Mary stepped up, and they gave us an amazing space that looks over yeah. the whole Côte d'Azur. We have artists that are coming that uh, are, are showing their art for free. So, we have so is, this, music. is this your, at ORU, we, we celebrate you know, people acting on their dreams. Is this your ultimate dream to grow it and to yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we really, uh, I would like to grow it to every city so that every city can connect it, that every city that can film it, and that you can see that people will come together and breathe as one uh, for free for one day. So breathe. Summer on this, you know, enjoy it on the summer solstice. It's Amazing. the day of revival, renewal of the spirit. Yeah. Kelly, thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us. Thank today. you. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. you.